Good morning. Good morning. We're very pleased to uh, have Arnie Arstrup from Cop Copenhagen for the breakfast on Saturday morning in, uh, with the, the Khan Obesity Summit. And you were talking about the, the, the dairy products and milk effect on uh, weight, weight control. But there is uh, a lot of controversies uh, around milk. Could you talk to us about it a little bit? Yeah, generally, uh, a lot of people, they believe that uh, because there's uh, a lot of saturated fat in the, the high-fat uh, dairy products, that it might actually be quite negative for your for cardiovascular health. But uh, if we look at all the evidence, uh, it seems to be the opposite, that the most observational studies, meta-analysis of, of, of these studies, actually show that there seems to be a beneficial effect of, of dairy products. And uh, we also know that the mechanism is that uh, dairy products will reduce blood pressure, but also that dairy products do not seem to have the adverse effects on blood lipids and tri uh, as you would assume based on on, uh, on on the content of saturated fat. Is it the same thing for mortality? It's the same for mortality that uh, those who have a high intake of, of dairy products uh, seem to have a lower mortality than those who skip the dairy products. And it's probably uh, due to a combination on, of uh, effects on blood pressure and also on blood lipids. So I guess you recommend low-fat milk consumption? Yeah, we generally recommend uh, low, the, all the low-fat pro dairy products uh, because they seem to have the most beneficial effect on, on cardiovascular disease and mortality and also on type 2 diabetes. The new uh, dietary guidelines of, from the uh, United States uh, increase from uh, skim milk to 1% yeah. uh, milk. So are you agree with that? Well, I don't think it's that that important, but um, I don't see any problem in anyway. it. Yes, exactly. exactly. Now we, uh, we know that the, uh, the milk relationship with weight control is quite interesting and has less controversy from scientific point of view. Can you, can, can you talk about it? Generally, it's because uh, dairy products is a very good source of protein, and uh, we know that protein is, uh, for a sedentary population, we should uh, probably reduce our intake of carbohydrates and increase protein uh, to uh, maintain weight control. I think there's pretty robust evidence for that, and now our large-scale uh, European multicenter trial, Darginus, uh, actually showed that. So uh, I think that, that that is quite obvious that protein in dairy products is part of the game, but there might also be a, a role for calcium in dairy products that, that the, the dairy calcium might bind some of the fat uh, for, of the diet, dietary fat and uh, increase the fecal fat excretion. And there might also be something about the, uh, the effect of calcium on appetite, particularly if you go on a hypocaloric diet and uh, reduce your intake of food generally quite substantially, then you might get too little calcium and that may, might make you hungry. So it's a, I think the optimal way to lose weight is probably to, uh, to maintain a high intake of, of dairy calcium during a, a weight loss effort. Proteins and calcium, and what about the vitamin D? Is it as important as, uh, as calcium? I think vitamin D is, is quite important for uh, a lot of other reasons. Uh, I'm not certain that how important it is for, for weight control, but it's quite important for cardiovascular health and maybe also for some cancers. But the, the new thing we have learned is that um, that uh, it's probably best, best if it's coming from the natural foods and not as dietary supplements because there's a new study showing that uh, dietary uh, supplements with calcium that they seem to increase cardiovascular risk uh, so it's probably better to get it all from natural foods. You pointed out one uh, amino acids uh, contained in proteins um, is it the same one that is involved with uh, casein and uh, lactoserum? I think uh, leucine, the amino acid, is, is there's a lot of leucine in, in whey protein and in, in dairy products. And uh, I don't think we have robust evidence, uh, but there are some pretty good studies that, that, uh, that show that leucine is uh, 
quite a critical amino acid for increasing uh, protein synthesis in muscle and building up muscles and maintaining your lean body tissue. And it might also play a role in, in, uh, in making people satiated, the satiety effect. Is there any other uh, amino acids that are pointed out? I think that arginine yeah. has been uh, leveled away right. from this uh, pool of uh, amino acid. That's probably true. It, it's not really something we have studied in detail. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.